Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back with the 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween. We are on number, I think we're on number 8. And we're going to make this really cute 5.5 by 5.5 by 1 inch gift box. And this one holds, if you watched my previous video, I have some tissue paper here and it holds a bunch of handmade flowers on this side and some roses on this side that I'm going to be gifting to a friend. I have some bling trim all the way around the edges. I ran out of that bling trim so today we're going to use some black rickrack. And then for my front cover it says something wicked this way comes. And that came from a 6x6 six six paper pad. Actually, all the paper. I mean, this came from this paper pad here. Boo from Recollections. Okay, so let's get started. For the base of your gift box, you're going to need a piece that measures seven and a half by seven and a half. You want to line it up in your scoreboard and you're going to score at one inch on all four sides. Okay, and then we're going to fold our score lines. I love making these kind of gift boxes to give to friends and family, put little treats in them. These would also be good if you were making a little envelope mini album. You could put a little mini album in here. Okay, so we're cutting up on our score lines. Cutting straight up. And then I'm just cutting a little angle piece off of there. So it looks like that. Straight up. And a little angle. Okay, so you should have four corners here. That we're going to, excuse my arm, add some glue to. And then for my box, for this box right here, I did put a mat on the inside. As you can see, there's a mat in there. So we're going to do that next. And I just used black cardstock for that. And the cardstock I'm using for this, if some people want to know, it's 65 pound weight cardstock from Recollections, which is a Michaels brand. Michaels Craft Store. Okay, so now we have the base of our box put together. So for the inside of my box, I have a mat that measures 5 and 3 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths. And I'm just using a very little bit of liquid glue. Not real heavy on the liquid glue because you don't want to warp your box. And I'm just going to press that in there. Okay, so that's our base. And then for the outside pieces, which I already had pre cut somewhere. Oh, here they are. These pieces measure five and a quarter by seven eighths of an inch. So we're going to mat that right away. Okay. And I did all four sides. And I, I cut them so that it would leave a little bit of the craft cardstock for a border all the way around. 
really should. I'm going to push this down with my bone folder. So I'm doing all four sides here. And even if you don't celebrate Halloween, you can make these little gift boxes in a Thanksgiving theme if you want to hand out some treats or a little gift to somebody. Make it as Christmas, birthday, any occasion. It doesn't necessarily have to be Halloween. Okay, so that's the base of our box. I didn't cover the bottom, you can if you'd like. And then for our top piece, our lid, you want a piece that measures 6 and 9 sixteenths by 6 and 9 sixteenths. Put it in your scoreboard and you're going to score a half an inch on all four sides which I've already done. So I'm going to fold up my score lines. And we're going to put this together just like we did the bottom. Cut straight on your score line. And then I just cut a little angle piece out there. And that way when I fold it up, it's flush with the top. Flip it around, cut straight, angle a little piece out. Let me move this out of our way since we're not scoring anymore. Add adhesive to the little corners and just put them together. That one I went a little too far with there. There we go. And this one here. Meet the corners. Adhesive. one and then the mat that I used for the top also measures five and I'm sorry five and three eighths by five and three eighths so I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid glue not too much because I don't want it to warp you can also use your Double sided tape for this, whatever adhesive you like. And I trimmed it so that it would have the craft cardstock border, at least I think it's like an eighth of an inch border that it gives you. I'm just going to run my bone folder in there. Okay. And that's your box. The lid fits nice and snug. And then you can decorate it however you'd like. I put some pearls here. This one I did the bling. This box here, I'll probably end up putting some rickrack on there. That looks really cute. Okay, but for the most part, that's your box. And you guys can decorate it however you'd like. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun creating yours. Take care.